Yes, students. Today we are going to start chapter number fifteen, that is perimeter area and volume. We have learned about perimeter area in class four also. So we are going to uh, learn uh, and uh, its application of perimeter and area in real life in class five. Now, what is perimeter? Perimeter is the length of the boundary of a closed figure. That means if it is a closed figure, we have learned about the polygons. That polygon is a closed figure. Now, length of boundary of a closed figure is called its perimeter. Now, let us learn about the perimeter of uh, uh, this rectangle and square. What is perimeter? In order to find perimeter of rectangle, how can we find? Since we know that in a rectangle, opposite sides of a rectangle are equal. Here, I have uh, made one rectangle A, B, C, D. Okay, now we are knowing that according to the property of rectangle, opposite sides are equal. Suppose the, uh, the AB that means AB is equal to CD, which is equal to length A. Okay, and BC is equal to AD, and that is equal to breadth. And in short, I can write it as small b. Okay, now in order to find perimeter of rectangle in order to find perimeter of rectangle we can write it in this form which is equal to ab plus bc plus cd plus either you can write ad or you can write da so c now ab is equal to which is uh, l bc is equal to b cd is equal to L and AD is equal to B. Now, if I have to, uh, that means two times L plus L, it is equal to two L plus two times of breadth, which is equal to. We can uh, take the two out and we can write it in this form. What does it mean? Which is equal to, or you can write it two into. If no, no sign is there, we have learnt in uh, simplification of numerical expression. What does it mean? It means that it has to be multiplied in between multiplication sign is there. That 2 times of L plus B or 2 into L plus B. Okay. In this way, this is the perimeter of a rectangle. Okay. Now, in order to find length of rectangle, in order to find length of rectangle, okay, what you have to do? In order to find length of rectangle, Length of rectangle, this perimeter is equal to 2 to 2 into L plus B. Therefore, length of rectangle is equal to perimeter divided by 2 minus breadth. Similarly, if uh, in order to find the breadth of rectangle, suppose you have to find the breadth of rectangle, a perimeter is given and length will be given. The, then how you are going to find the breadth of a rectangle? It will be equal to perimeter divided by 2 minus length. Okay, in this way. So, these are the three formula which we have to uh, learn it. One is perimeter of rectangle is equal to 2 times of L plus B. Length of rectangle is equal to perimeter divided by 2 minus breadth. And breadth of a rectangle is equal to perimeter divided by 2 minus length okay now let us find perimeter of a square now in order to find next is perimeter of square okay we know that in a square all sides are of equal length okay all sides are equal suppose i have written a b in, as written as side b c a side c d a side and a d so its perimeter will be equal to side plus side plus side plus side which is equal to 4 times into side okay thus perimeter and if I name this side as A then what it will be perimeter will be equal to 4 into A okay and if we have to find length of side of a square, if we have to find length of side of a square, it will be equal to perimeter, 
perimeter that means if uh, perimeter is given and we have to find the length of square then how we are going to find it will be equal to perimeter divided by 4 okay in order to find the length of side of a square okay now let us do some uh, word problem let us discuss some of the word problems related to perimeter of rectangle and square now let us discuss some examples question is find the perimeter of a rectangle whose length is given 43.5 cm and breadth is given 23.5 cm so what we have to find we have to find perimeter of a rectangle okay this is one of the question of your exercise we are knowing that what is the formula of perimeter of rectangle it is 2 into l plus b okay now length is given how much 43.5 and breadth is given 23.5 and I have put the centimeter in this form now uh, in the rough column we can add it up and find it out 43.5 23.5 okay 7 4 to 6 it comes out to be 67 okay now 67 2 into 67 centimeter now multiply it 2 7s are 14, 2 6s are 12, then it is equal to 134 cm. Similarly, if the question is in this form, okay, uh, find the perimeter of a square in centimeter whose side is 500 mm. Side is how much given? 500 mm. And it's given that we have to find the perimeter in centimeter. So, do the conversion, we are knowing that. Uh, we are knowing the table of uh, this in measurement what we have learned 100 centimeter 10 centimeter is equal to 1 millimeter therefore mm, sorry 1 centimeter is equal to 10 millimeter therefore 500 millimeter will be equal to 500 divided by 10 centimeter which is equal to 50 centimeter okay now what it is there we have to find the perimeter of square this since this is a square we have to perimeter is equal to its perimeter is equal to 4 into side apply the formula which is equal to 4 now let us solve this example a square is made up of wire of length 42 cm that means a wire uh, is there which is of length 42 cm and a square is made up uh, made out of it the wire is rebent into a rectangle of breadth 7 cm and again the wire was rebent and has been formed a, in shape of a rectangle of breadth 7 cm and then what we have to find we have to find the length of rectangle now what is given given is length of wire given length of wire how much centimeter 42 centimeter okay and now that means uh, the perimeter of square it is made, uh, the wire is bent in form of, of square first therefore perimeter of square and again it is bent in form of rectangle is equal to perimeter of rectangle which is equal to 42 centimeter okay now uh, then what is given breadth of rectangle is given breadth of rectangle it's how much 7 centimeter and what we have to find we have to find the length of rectangle length of rectangle therefore length of rectangle we are knowing the formula which is equal to perimeter divided by 2 minus breadth which is equal to 42 divided by 2 minus 7 centimeter which is equal to mm, 21 centimeter minus 7 centimeter which is equal to 14 centimeter. Okay, now uh, let us solve one more example. Now, 
this is one of the example of exercise 15 in the sixth one question is given a rectangular garden is 40 meter long and 32 meter wide that means a rectangle is there okay and length is 42 meter and breadth is 32 uh, meter okay uh, in this way okay and what it's there find the cost of fencing it once that means fencing has been uh, this one uh, fence has been constructed outside this garden find the cost of fencing and the rate is given okay so first we are going to find the perimeter of the garden okay so what we perimeter of a rectangular garden perimeter of rectangular garden is equal to 2 into L plus B okay now length is given 40 meters and width is given 32 meters okay so it will be uh, 2 into 72 meters which is equal to 144 meters and then what we have to do is we have to find the cost of fencing it once at the rate of rupees 20 per meter cost of fencing we are knowing the formula that cost of fencing is equal to perimeter into rate cost of fencing is equal to whatever rate that means at the rate of rupees 20 per meter so what is the perimeter 144 into rupees 20 which will be equal to 2408 2408 2102 rupees 228,000 2880 rupees it will take cost of fencing how we are going to find we have what we have formula is perimeter into whatever rate is given that means rate of this per meter it will be given we will multiply and we will get the cost of fencing okay similarly if we have to find the Mm, uh, perimeter then how we are going to find if the cost of fencing is there and the rate is given then we can find perimeter by dividing cost of fencing by rate also okay so some of the um, questions of exercise 15 i am sending as pdf do those questions in your class of course